Hello and welcome to another edition of New Blue FX Tips and Techniques. I'm Ian Stark for New Blue. Today we're going to take a look at three plugins from the Video Essentials 6 collection. Yes, you heard correctly, three plugin tutorials for the price of one free one. Color Replace, Saturation EQ, and Saturation Modifier. These plugins can be used both creatively and to solve problems. And while there's probably nothing they do that you can't achieve using your NLE's own color correction filters, they certainly eliminate the effort from quickly getting a great result. So, let's take a look at what each plugin does, starting with Color Replace. To demonstrate how it works, here I have two colorful cubes, lovingly crafted for your viewing pleasure in a 3D modeling application. The workflow for Color Replace is very simple. You simply select your original color, either by choosing from a palette or by using the eyedropper on your image. You then select your desired color, again through the palette or directly from the image. You then gradually increase the range of colors the plugin will select until your source color is completely replaced by your swap color. It's that simple. Let's take a look at a real life example now to see how the other functions of the plugin help you in more complicated situations. The owners of this truck realized just a little too late that the color scheme they'd chosen was, quite simply, hideously ill-advised. The day after the shot, they resprayed it, and now they want to show off the new colors in their video. The shrewd businessman in me tells me to charge the client for a reshoot, but the finely honed moral values that have kept me on the poverty line for many years force me to make use of the Color Replace plugin. So, here's what we do. I want to make the entire cab match the darker blue band. So, using the eyedropper, I select the color I want to change, and the color I want to change it to. Now I gradually ramp up the range, so as to include the areas that are in shadow or are slightly lighter than my main color. Et voila! The cab is now a single shade of blue. Notice that the shadow and highlight areas retain their properties, and the reflections in the gloss paintwork are still there. Now we can use the fade value to alter how gradually the effect fades out when it comes to neighboring colors. Smaller fade values will result in an immediate switch, whereas higher values give you a gentler blend. And you can see in our example that this introduces a more natural looking appearance. Range and fade kind of work hand in hand, so you'll want to tweak both until you get the desired result. Moving along, we come to feather, and a little bit like fade, we use this to introduce a softer blend between processed and unprocessed parts of the image. Having done a pretty decent job already, Feather will only have a marginal effect on our example image. However, if I reduce the selected range and the fade values so that our selection is more rigid, you can see the effect that it has much more clearly. Lower values means there's no blur between the processed and unprocessed areas, while higher values are nice and soft. Finally, Mix determines how much of the replacement color is mixed in the final composite. One great use of the Color Replace plugin is in the event of this client not paying my invoice on time, I can turn his shiny truck into a rusty old wreck with just a few clicks. Okay, that's it for Color Replace. Let's now turn to Saturation EQ. And to introduce how this plugin works, here again are some brightly colored cubes. Saturation EQ works a little like a graphic equalizer on a sound system, only this one of course is for colors. These colors to be precise. Red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, blue, purple and magenta. There's also a custom color which lets you choose any other color you can think of. Increasing or decreasing the value for each color, I can increase or decrease the saturation of that color in my image. Brilliant and very simple. And unlike plugins that let a single color through to give you the famous red shoes effect from Schindler's List, Saturation EQ lets you operate on as few or as many colors as you like. Of course, on a more practical level, you can use Saturation EQ to solve footage problems. For example, in this image, I want to saturate the sky by pumping up the blues, while at the same time I'd like to dampen down those attention-grabbing red cars in the distance. Saturation EQ makes it a cinch. Of course, in this case, the blues of the structure behind the car are also affected, so you'll need to scan your entire frame to make certain there are no adverse reactions to your tweaking. So, finally, in our triumvirate of tutorials, we come to Saturation Modifier. And for the last time, let's meet our cubes. With this example, I have six cubes, all red, increasing in saturation from left to right. What Saturation Modifier allows you to do is to define two separate saturation regions and to adjust each one independently. Probably much easier if I show you. 
Let's say I want to lower the saturation of the cubes on the right. They're already quite saturated, so I'll consider them to be above my saturation threshold. So I'll lower the saturation above level. You can see that while the very saturated cubes on the right have been affected, the less saturated cubes on the left have not. That's because the cubes on the left are below the saturation threshold. You'll see that as soon as I raise the threshold, more of the cubes to the right fall below it and are therefore less affected by the saturation above setting. Conversely, if I lower the threshold, more of the cubes on the left now find themselves above the bar and are therefore affected. Simple, eh? Smooth, as before, smooths the transition between colours in the image, so if I drop this down to zero, you'll see quite harsh transitions, whereas when I raise the smooth value, the blending becomes very gradual. Finally, mask helps you by highlighting which areas are affected by the saturation above and saturation below settings. It's a very handy way of identifying the area you want to adjust, as we'll see in this real-world example. Here I want to reduce the saturation of the red wall while leaving the girl's skin as it is. So the first thing I'll do is to activate the mask, and, as you'd expect with everything at its default position, nothing is selected and the mask is perfectly grey. Now remember, I want to reduce the saturation of the wall and only the wall. So I'll drop the saturation above setting, which means that everything above the threshold will be reduced. And you can immediately see that the girl's face has also been selected. And if I turn off the mask, well it looks like she's been sitting in a darkened room for the last 10 years. But we already knew that the wall is much more saturated than her face. So look what happens when I raise the threshold. The colour comes flooding back into her cheeks as though she's just been for a brisk walk on a fine spring morning. But because the original wall colour was and still is above the threshold, it's still being affected by the saturation going on in the saturation above slider. So as I turn the effect on and off, you can see that her skin stays the same, but the wall is desaturated. Now how brilliant is that? Finally, there's a custom colour section that lets you select a specific colour to be affected by the plugin. Once you've selected your colour, you can adjust the range of neighbouring colours that are affected, as well as the gain, which changes the saturation of your chosen colour. So there you are, three highly usable plugins that can rescue the shot, give an image an entirely different appearance, or make your client's vehicles look like scrap metal. Saturation EQ, Saturation Modifier and Colour Replace are all part of the Video Essentials 6 collection, and if you haven't already, I strongly recommend you download the trial. So thanks as always for watching, I hope it's been a good use of your time, and that you've learnt a little bit more about Nublo FX Video Essentials 6.